One evening, a boy came home late from a party. After a few hours went by, he suddenly realized he didn't have his phone with him. <sighs> Where could I have left my phone? Don't know where it is. Maybe I lost on the way home. Probably left it at Amber's house from that party last night. He decided to use the home phone to call his cell phone. Let me call it. Hope that Amber has it still at her house. Oh boy. The phone rang for a long time and then someone picked up, but they didn't say anything. Hello? There was no answer. But he could hear someone breathing on the other end. Hello? Can you hear me? There was still no answer, but the breathing got heavier. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Then in a low voice, the person on the other end said, I hear you. Then they hung up. Hello? It was late. He just had to go to bed. Guess somebody stole my phone. That's fine. Whatever. I don't have time for this. It's late. I need to go to bed. When he went upstairs to his bedroom, he was shocked to see that his phone was sitting on the bed. Is that? That's my phone. It was on silent. That's strange. I thought this wasn't in the house. When I called it, someone answered. On March 2nd, 2011, a young girl named Suzanne was using her phone. Her parents had gone out to dinner, leaving Suzanne home alone at 8 p.m. The teenage girl was popular in high school and very socially active. Shortly after 10 p.m., Suzanne sat to do her instant messenger account under the username SusieQ13. Immediately, she received an ad request from a user with the username YoungLover69. The following is an excerpt from their chat log.
there was a 15 year old boy named Caleb who created an Instagram account. He always took pictures of himself at school and at home and posted them online. Caleb spent a lot of time trying to get as many followers as possible on his profile. He would browse through other users' accounts and leave a comment under their photos saying, Please follow me. I follow back. One day when he was looking for new followers, he came across a strange profile. It was a man who took pictures of dismembered dolls. He never showed his face in any of the photos. As usual, Caleb left a comment on his photos. Please follow me. I follow back. An hour later, the man followed his account. He left a comment on his latest post saying, I'm following you. Whenever he posted a new photo, he would always leave the same comment. I'm following you. One night when his parents went out to dinner, Caleb got a picture sent to his account. When he opened the photo, he realized it was a picture of him sitting in his den. All of a sudden, he was paralyzed by fear. He heard footsteps approaching. And a gravelly voice behind him said, I'm following you. 